Welcome to Forbidden Planet TV. Uh, I'm here to celebrate the upcoming Free Comic Book Day with the amazing creative team of Life is Strange, uh, author Emma Viacelli and artist Claudia Leonardi. How are you guys? I'm in a forest. I can see. <laughs> and I have no arms, apparently. <laughs> That's what drawing comics does to you. <laughs> it's disappearing in the forest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hanging out you know <laughs> so so of course one of the things we're very proud of at forbidden planet and at titan comics is uh the uh life is strange uh comic book which uh we produce uh in association with a, a variety of wonderful people but that book is created is, is a marvelous b a bestseller and c created by amara and claudia and it is absolutely beautiful work and we're thrilled to be talking about our special free comic book day edition of Life is Strange. Mm -hmm. So guys, what can you tell us about that free comic book day edition, which will be on sale on the 14th of August, by the way. It won't but, be on sale. Well, it won't. It'll be released. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Absolutely right. Won't be on sale at all. Yeah. No. <laughs> I be released the, on the 14th of August. I, I, I find it must be weird for you, Claudia, actually, because I don't know. Is Free Comic Book Day, does it happen in Italy as well? Is it a global? I don't, I feel like I should know that. I think it's uh, global, but we don't huh. have a particular sort of thing like that. Right. No. Well, hopefully, like some shops local to you can get involved with it. But um, I, I know over here, like for years, obviously, uh, both as a reader and a creator, being part of Free Comic Book Day, like I, I've done events where I've like, you know, you do a signing or you draw stuff and you pick up your bag of all these amazing samplers of everyone's comics. And like, it's such a such a great grab bag of stuff. And um, I think it it's really exciting to actually be able to not only have something that's coming out that's like, sometimes Free Comic Book Day issues will be sort of samples of stuff that's being published anyway, but to get to like, create something new specifically for it with the idea that anyone who goes into a comic shop on free comic book day can pick it up like that's yeah that's potentially like the biggest audience will reach so that's uh, that's pretty exciting <laughs> i think i think that's exactly right i think it's a brilliant showcase for, for for what you guys are doing and and given that's the case how did you actually approach this issue from a creative standpoint because it's quite often a very different process from just being able to to you know create a regular book in the middle of an arc that you're producing. It's a very different process, and I I know from Claudia's side she had to be like well we all had to be horribly patient while we waited for things to be signed off because it's a very different like is a very different kind of issue um, because what you're trying to do and I think obviously it's the first time I've written something for a free comic book day issue so it's a whole new thing from drawing it is understanding that this has to be something that anyone can walk in and pick up. And can enjoy they don't have to be reading the existing comic they might not even have played the game they just need to be able to pick this up and be intrigued by it so obviously it's got to be totally different but also we kind of had our i was gonna say marching orders that's the wrong word we had our instructions from both square and titan that we wanted to tie it in somehow with a new game that was coming up um there were there were like certain there were basically hoops i don't mean bad jumps but there were like hoops to jump through um so as well as making something accessible that could like fit with our comic because we wanted it to be something where people who've been supporting us the whole way and have been reading the comic i want them to get something out of it that, that so it's got to be something extra for them but it also has to be something that new readers might pick up and go oh so it is a challenge um what we've ended up doing is splitting it into two comics so it's actually you're getting two life is strange comics um and one is focusing more on Alex, uh, which we'll talk about in a mo. And then the other one is harking more to our ongoing uh, comic. Um, and yeah, so that was the easiest approach was just to split it because there was, there was no physical way of, of having it as one <laughs> cohesive comic. Um, but Alex's stuff also, I think we're safe to say it now because it's been, it's been announced. Um, so six pages of Alex, which also had to fit in with the Alex backup strips yeah. that are going into the main comics. So for me, it is like this absolute jigsaw puzzle of these have to be pages that can stand alone, but can also fit in a narrative with these things that are coming out two by two in these issues. And I, it, 
we say it every time this comic is like so difficult to write but um <laughs> so free comic book day was just an extra challenge <laughs> I, I can believe it and Claudia on that note what was it like revisiting and redrawing past scenes for this free comic book day issue it was interesting because uh, I am one of those people that uh, when I draw something I uh, immediately hate it <laughs> I look at it and I say, it's horrible. Let's draw something else. Let's get better. I don't like it. And I never look back to it. So um, having the possibility to redraw something that uh, I think the first scene we, I had to redraw was um, the first one I drew in 2018. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's three years, three years ago. Wow. So there, I, I love to see that uh, I see improvement. Uh, at least I see improvement. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I hope everyone uh, is able to see it. Uh, and uh, so it was, uh, it was fun. It was fun because uh, there, there were, they were very interesting uh, and scenes that I love to draw in, uh, in the past. And I love to be able to redraw it now yeah without spoiling too much of what the uh the pr yeah, like the second time to yeah the the second the basically the part of the free copy book day that refers to our ongoing is like it's it's kind of a nod it's something that hopefully new yeah new readers can use as a a jumping in point and something that will make them go oh wow this stuff looks cool but people who've been with us a long time will be able to uh yeah kind of re relive some key moment and it's kind of fun for us because we get to look at our whole story so far and actually break it into key points which is kind of cool I, even though I wrote it seeing Claudia's illust and Andrea's illustrations of those moments actually gave me that kind of oh yeah we did that and and that was cool um there's also an extra layer to it which I feel like um it didn't make it into the comic, but I want to say it and I hope it's okay to say it. And if it's not, you can edit it afterwards. But um, there's there's like a, a, I'm a massive tabletop role play nerd and um, there's a tabletop role play element to the comic. And initially when I did the script and I, I sent it to Claudia, I was like, I think it'd be really cool if we, if we relive all these moments but as if they're playing them in a D&D &D game or like sorry not D&D &D, in a tabletop role play game um so they can you know in full fancy and I loved Claudia I love that you were like yes <laughs> that's amazing and you you never saw them but I started drawing the character design of Fammi vedere, uh... per favor. <laughs> <laughs> okay when I will finish them oh, I can't wait they'll make great prints anyway right they'll <laughs> Yeah. that's exactly yeah. right that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah sadly that for completely understandable reasons we, we couldn't go with that uh it would have been fun but um but we'll get to see them with claudia if claudia does them but uh but yeah generally just being able to go back and and look at like key turning points in the story so hopefully yeah new readers should go oh this comic's done some fun things uh, and people who've been with us the whole time will hopefully get the same feeling we got doing those pages which is being like this is the journey we've been on with these characters so yeah it's nice i, I think as, as a fan it, it's uh, fascinating you talk about uh, claudia about re you know revisiting your art and perhaps being kind of critical of some of the things you've seen because as a fan of your work it, your work seems pretty unimprovable to me so i read it and like, i'm just always blown away by it as is everybody else so uh i just thought i'd add that just in case anybody <laughs> anybody sat there and believed you when you said it, it, like in some way your work needs improving because yeah. i absolutely think it doesn't i think Claudia it's amazing came in came in strong but i yeah. but on the other hand i absolutely know what she means and anyone watching this who is an artist themselves knows exactly that feeling of like you you kind of have to dislike your work a bit because it's the only way you get better if you ever finish something yeah, and go exactly. all right it's done it's perfect then what's the point in you know carrying on but um no I agree with you Andrew I mean that I do see those improvements remarkably because it started off so incredible anyway but that's the thing you, like both Claudia and Andrea are improving from an already amazing <laughs> place and then like the only reason I'll see it is if I go right back to the start, there's like, 
it's so ah, the quality was always high and, and now it's just like it just gets better and better with every issue i see so yeah it's so cool <laughs> yeah no stream and, and for both of you um how has working on the comics and learning about the characters as you have influenced how you interact with and see the games themselves i don't know i mean i obviously we've not really had a i played life is strange too although i waited to play that uh, for quite a long time because originally i thought i was only doing four issues of the comic so i was like i'll wait till i finish those issues then i'll play life is strange too <laughs> at the time we realized we were ongoing i was like do you know what i need to play the second game i don't think that really changed anything because obviously it was a, it was a removed world um and so beyond that i've not gone back and played the original game since we've been doing the comic because i think i almost wouldn't want to because i love the games obviously goes without saying but i feel like we've spent years taking the characters on a different track yeah, from yeah, that makes sense. the games um it would be really interesting actually to play them now and see how I feel about them. What little things I'd read in, like what subtext I would have added in. <laughs> and, and my other question for both of you is of all the, of all the character's special abilities from Max's rewind power, Tristan's ability to phase, Alex's power of empathy, which one of those would you like personally? I don't know. I, I really like Tristan's disappearing and reappearing somewhere else powers and um, the ability to not be seen by other people. I really like that. Mm. <laughs> I feel like it could be something that uh, would go well with myself. So, <gasps> well, I think, fun. yeah, I think much like uh, Misfits before it, we've said before, I think with Life is Strange, it feels certainly for the comic side of things, I feel like a lot of the powers, because of the way max has developed in our story i now for me like in my head canon whatever that means for me as the writer but for me as a fan um i can totally see where max's abilities stem from her and like the stuff that she's the the things with her personality that have that could have bloomed out into having that ability and i think that's the same with pretty much anyone we've touched in the comics with with powers is those powers it's not just that they're blessed with a gift it's more like a thing has kind of been born out of their life and who they are so I think Tristan <laughs> Tristan specifically like his ability a, a lot of us could look at him, like exactly as you say I'm like yeah that would that would suit me fine I'd, I'd quite like that but I think it's because there's maybe things we em not empathize with him on I think the tricky thing is with Life is Strange it's not as easy as saying I'd want that power because in order to have that power you'd have to have had the life they've had and go through what they've had in order to get that power. And I, I don't think I would want to live Tristan's life to, to, no. get, <laughs> to get what he's got. Um, but he's, he's going to be in happier places. Uh, but yeah, I think being able to phase out would be uh, useful. <laughs> I think that is very well said. I also think not divorce, understanding the relationship with, uh, with abilities and, and, and people's experience in this book is absolutely key. I and think. that's definitely, I should definitely hammer home, that's related to the comics and how I view it in the comics, because in terms of the broader game world, like, you know, we don't do explanations in Life is Strange. There's nothing, it shouldn't be explained. Um, but yeah, from how I, you know, in terms of our comic sphere, that's, that's how I see it. Well, the free comic book day edition of Life is Strange is a wonderful showcase for the work that Claudia and Emma are doing on the series. There's two stories within this special edition. And as I touched upon earlier, it will not be on sale on the 14th of August, but it will be available for free, glorious for free, on the 14th of August. And uh, please check it out. And I guarantee if you pick it up, you're going to fall in love with the work these guys are doing because uh, it, it, it's they're taking everybody on such a ride through this fascinating universe. And long may it continue. Uh, Claudia, Emma, thanks again for joining me, guys. Thank you. Thanks to you. Happy free comic book day, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. If you're enjoying watching Forbidden Planet TV and you're enjoying watching us talk to the world's most interesting and accomplished filmmakers, authors, artists, musicians, creators, subscribe right here. See you soon.